Hey guys, so welcome to your singles love reading for Capricorn. You can apply this to your sun, rise, and Venus sign for July 2022. So um, we are going to take a look at your current over energies regarding love. And then we'll take a look to see what your current blockages and challenges are in finding love. And then we'll finish off the read to see what else you guys need to know and if there's anyone new coming towards you. So apply this to your own unique situation. Keep in mind that these are general messages. Take what resonates and leave the rest behind. If this message didn't resonate with you, take a look at your other placements. If you guys haven't done so yet, hit the subscription button and the notification bell so that you guys get notified on when my new video is post. Give this video a thumbs up, like this video, share this video, leave a comment down in the comment section below if this message resonates. Um, keep in mind that these are collective messages for the collective Capricorn people, so I'm not tapping into one specific person's energies in particular. If you're looking for a reading specific to your unique situations, to your energies, I suggest you book a private personal reading with me. The link for that is in the description box below. All right, Scorpio. Let's get started. What did I say, Scorpio? Um, sorry, Capricorn. Maybe you're dealing with a Scorpio. Um, what do we have for Capricorn? Tell me about singles Capricorn regarding love for um, July 2022. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs for Capricorn. Three of Wands and the Lovers. Okay. It seems like you are looking for the future. I, I feel like you are waiting for that soulmate to come in, Capricorn. Gemini energy with that um, Lovers card. We have the King of Swords, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini, and the Nine of Cups. This could be an indication that, you know, right now you guys are happy just being on your own, being single. It's sort of like you're sort of like rolling with the punches and sort of go, you know, riding the waves and going with the flow here. And, you know, just letting, you know, I guess letting love find you and you're not searching for it right now. Okay. So you're in this energy of not chasing with the Ace of uh, Swords here and the Ace of Cups. It, it seems like there is going to be new love in the future here for you, okay? Uh, so I feel like, you know, the wait, the long-awaited waiting is sort of over, okay? Uh, you know, I feel like you took some time to focus on yourself here, uh, Capricorn, and, you know, and I feel like, you know, you know, things are meant to find you when they're meant to find you, you know? Uh, sometimes you can't force things to happen. Uh, the Three of Wands and the Emperor, your Aries energy. Okay. Maybe you're meeting an Aries here in your future. Tell me about this uh, lovers. And then we have the Seven of Wands here. Whoever this new love is, this person's really protective of you. Okay. Uh, Capricorn, tell me about this King of Swords. We have the Four of Pentacles, uh, the Nine of Cups, and the Chariot. I mean, I feel like there's an energy of you keeping to yourself right now, okay? There's an energy of you just continuing to sort of truck forward, to keep moving forward here. Cancer energy with this chariot. Tell me about this uh, Ace of Cups and the Page of Cups, Ace of Swords, and the Three of Cups. There is someone new that's coming towards you. This is someone... This could be someone that you already know. Maybe this is someone in your friend group or something like that. Uh, Page of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Let's see what else we have here. What else do we have here for Capricorn regarding love? Singles Capricorn regarding love. What are their current blocks and challenges in finding love? Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs for July 2022 for Singles Capricorn. And we have the Sun and the Page of Pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. We have the Magician and the Six of Wands. And then the Five of Pentacles and the Ace of, Eight of Swords. The Sun and the Page of Pentacles. So Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. We have the Magician and the Six of Wands here. Gemini, Virgo with the Magician and the Five of Pentacles and the Eight of Swords. I feel like you're in, the, I feel like you're in your head a lot. 
Yeah, I feel like you're, you're in your head a lot about being alone, being single, being abandoned. Some of you guys might have abandonment issues. You know, there's the energy of you feeling like, you know, you feel, you're feeling like you can't make this happen or something like that because maybe you've had back-to-back -back, um, relationships where it was unsuccessful, okay? I, I feel like you guys are going through like a spiritual awakening where you guys uh, are, you know, tending to that inner child, you know, the, the, the you know, inner child, um, you know, trauma and pain that you've experienced here. Tell me about the sun. Why is the sun here? Leo energy with the sun, the eight of pentacles, the uh, page of pentacles and the page of swords. Lots of pages here. Sometimes some of you guys are really working really hard on yourselves, I feel. Working really hard on your own to find happiness on your own. Because keep in mind, this is a cliche. You can't give what you don't have. You know what I mean? So if you're not happy with yourself, you're going to attract someone that's not happy with themselves. Okay? If you don't have self-love for yourself, you're going to attract someone that's not going to give you the love that you're looking for because they lack that also. Tell me about this uh, magician. Uh, Page of Swords, Number Aquarius, Gemini. You know, the Four of Cups, the uh, Six of Wands, and the Devil. Mm. I mean, you are the energy of what you create. So if you're in this like really negative energy, this energy of like, I can't do it. I'm never going to find anyone. I'm always going to be alone. Yeah, you're going to create that for yourself. You're going to create that environment for yourself. So I feel like you need to get, you know, I feel like it's important, you know, to get out of your head about that. Uh, because you, you, you know, you are, you know, you are who you manifest. Uh, so if you're in this positive energy, you're optim optimistic energy, you know, you're going to attract a lot of good things in your life. If you're in this negative energy, you're going to attract negative things. The five of pentacles, you know, the queen of pentacles, there you are right here, Capricorn. It seems like there is a solid person that's coming towards you here. This is a new person. The thing is, I feel like, you know, someone here could sabotage it from their negativity here. Capricorn, yeah, uh, Queen of Pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, the Eight of Swords, and the Star. There is some still, there's some healing work that still needs to be done here for uh, Capricorn, and I feel like a lot of you guys are working on this. If you guys are not, you guys will. Or if you guys, you choose to do it, it's really up to you. Yeah, we have the star card, which is healing, which is like optimism, you know, which is hope, which is, you know, getting your wish fulfillment here, okay? So I feel like the universe, your guides, your ancestors, the divine is asking to really step out of really thinking this way. Yeah, so, uh, you know, I feel like a lot of this could stem from, you know, um, you know, uh, tr some trauma that you guys haven't really healed from or dealt with. You know, so let's see. Um, what else does Capricorn need to know? What else does singles Capricorn need to know regarding love here? Uh, is there anyone new coming towards single Capricorn's way? Sun, moon, rising, Venus signs for July 2022. All right, we have the Tower, Aries, Scorpio, Energy, and the Wheel of Fortune. I do, whoever this is, this mature individual that, that's coming your way, uh, this person's coming your way when you least expect it, okay? Um, Ten of Pentacles and Nine of Swords. You're destined to have love here. The thing is, I feel like Capricorn, you could be really in your head and really stressed out. You know, whether you deserve it or not, whether you're going to attract the same thing, you know. So I feel like someone here is definitely in this, like, very negative energy, okay? Uh, let's see. The hangman and his two of wands. I feel like your fears are going to stop you. Or, uh, I feel like your fears are going to get you kind of stuck. Stuck in pursuing this new person here. Because that, that hangman, that two of wands, is kind of like a very stagnant energy. Tell me about the uh, tower. Knight of wands. The wheel of fortune and the seven of pentacles. Well, who's this knight of wands? Aries, Leo, Sag with that knight of wands. And the four of swords. Seven of pentacles. And the five of cups. This could be a past person that's coming with an apology here. 
you know, someone here is in some sort of regret, looking for a reconciliation, looking for a new beginning, but you're walking away from this individual because, um, you know, you know your worth. Yeah, whoever this is, maybe this past person is someone here who has really hurt you here. Yeah. It, it could be why that you're thinking so negatively regarding love. Yeah. So the Ten of Pentacles, we have the Knight of Pentacles, the Nine of Swords, and the Page of Wands. Seems like you're really traumatized by a past situation here. Yeah. You're definitely in some sort of flight or flight response here. Knight of Pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, the Page of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sag, uh, Hangman, and the Death card, Two of Wands, and the Ten of Swords. You're still trying to move on from the painful experience here, uh, Capricorn. Yeah. Yeah, who, so there was a fire sign that hurt you here. Okay, and I feel like maybe this fire sign was married and maybe this person was your side piece or something like that. Okay, so Capricorn, I hope that this was helpful. I hope that this resonated. If it did, leave a comment down in the comment section below. Share this video, like this video. If you haven't done so yet, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and I will speak to you guys uh, in the next one. All right, thanks guys. Bye.